Now let us discuss about the geographical source of Raoulfia root. Geographical source means especially where this uh, plant grows naturally and where it is cultivated for commercial purpose. It has been uh, observed that the various species of Raoulfia are distributed in tropical region of Asia, America and African subcontinent. Commercially, it is produced in India, Sri Lanka, Myanmar, Bhutan and some other parts of the southeastern part of Asia. In India, it is mainly cultivated in various states like Uttar Pradesh, Bihar, Urissa, Tamil Nadu, West Bengal and Karnataka. So this is in brief regarding the geographical source of Raulfia root. Coming to the history, history means when uh, this plant has been introduced and uh, what is the reason uh, the uh, root has been uh, termed as the Sarpaganda. Uh, this uh, medicinal plant way back has been mentioned in traditional system of medicine. Because of snake-like shape of drug, it has been known as Sarpaganda. I repeat, because of snake-like shape of drug, this root has been named as Sarpaganda. It has found its place as an important drug in the treatment of insanity and snake bite since traditional times. But the drug came into the limelight only after the isolation of indole alkaloid called rasarpine in the year 1952 by Muller. Rasarpine is one of the most therapeutically potent alkaloidal constituent which gives antihypertensive activity. Since then, the large interest has been generated regarding the activity of this drug. So this is in brief regarding the history of Raulfia root. So coming to the cultivation and collection method. <clears throat> Raulfia root grows under wide range of climatic conditions. However, it flourishes in hot and humid condition and grows satisfactorily in shade. In wild state, it grows in variety of soils, but during cultivation, clay loamy soil with large amount of humus and grew and good drainage are essential criteria uh, for the growth of Raulfia root. The pH of the soil should be uh, acidic in nature. It should be around 4.0, whereas the climatic temperature should be from uh, 10 to 40 degrees centigrade. It uh, favors the growth of the root. Whereas the rainfall is concerned, 250 to 500 centimeter uh, per year rainfall is essential uh, for uh, the cultivation of the root. Coming to the propagation, sometimes the seeds or uh, directly the roots are propagated in uh, in the field of uh, in the field um, uh, with uh, with maintaining proper distance among them. <clears throat> the propagation from seed is usually uh, done by broadcasting method. The healthy seeds are sown into the nursery bats. The rate of germination seed is very low, hence sufficient quantity of seeds are essential to be shown. Sowing 
is done in the month of May or at the break of monsoon. The seedlings are then transplanted in the month of August at a distance of 16 to 30 centimeter. The plants are provided with various chemical manures and fertilizers. <clears throat> the plants are kept free from weeds. When the plants are about three to four years old, they are uprooted. The roots are cut properly, washed, so that the adhering earthy substance like sand, soil, etc., uh, get uh, m uh, removed from the uh, from the root, and then it is air dried. It needs uh, around uh, five kg of seed to produce the seedlings sufficient to cover the area of one hectare after transplantation. The average yield of root per hectare is uh, 1200 kg. It may vary depending upon the soil condition and age of the plant. So this is regarding the cultivation and collection of the Raulfia root.